Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Dish pan hands Brad. And first off, let's say early Happy New Year's to everybody. This is the last video we'll be making of this year. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't get one made yesterday. The day just got away from me, and it was kind of like I needed a mental health day. And that's what I ended up taking. Um, uh, I have been real tired lately. You guys know that. And so... I, um, you know, caught up on some sleep, and then, um, yesterday I was able to go outside and paint for a little bit, and that was really nice, um, and then Brad got home, and he wanted to take me out to dinner, because he's so wonderful that way, so we went out on a little date, and then we went, you know, out, every date should end with a Walmart, <laughs> so, we were the people of yeah. Walmart, so we went to Walmart, got some groceries and stuff, and, uh, um, yeah, came home and, uh... We went to, uh, Posey Steam Room, which is a local seafood restaurant. Here in Panacea, Florida. Yeah, and they have, um... Oh, such good seafood. Yeah, the, but, you know, I mean, it's hard to believe, I have said this on Facebook and everything, but it's hard to believe that that seafood was swimming around in the ocean less than 24 hours. Yeah. Um, before it was swimming around on yeah. our plate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they do such a great job. Yeah. We um, both had, well, we had, I had um, black and um, it just, it, it's kind of how they cook. It's a the, cooking, yeah. It's, it's kind of a spicy, uh, but I had oysters and shrimp and um, grouper. And then, you know, with, and then, you know, you have your salad before the meal and then french fries. And uh, Brad had... The, the blackened also, but he had shrimp and oysters and uh, deviled crab and the french fries and the salad and stuff. We couldn't even finish. We brought home enough for a whole nother meal, uh, but it was very, very good. Yeah. It was very yeah. good. I, I have I my admit, favorite seafood restaurant. Yeah. I will admit that, um, that uh, I have turned into a wuss when it comes to spicy food. Yeah, we can do that. The next time we won't order the black and it was just a little too spicy yeah. for us. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but it was it was very good. Yeah, it was very, very good. And they take real nice care of you and stuff. Yeah. It's a laid back atmosphere. You know, you got the paper towels on the on the um, table and, and stuff and we just really like it. We we try to go there about once every couple weeks. Yeah. Usually we go on Thursday night with all you can eat shrimp, but you know, we went this time on a Saturday night. Um, when Ken came through, we uh, we all went there. That was our first time going there. Yeah, and uh, you got a picture with um, the owner with yeah Mildred and I can't remember what his I don't name is. What his name is either. Anyway, they're they've been around forever. Yeah. But anyway, we went there and and stuff. And um, then Brad wasn't feeling real good, and it wasn't the the dinner or anything. He hadn't been feeling real hot. Uh, the day before, you know, a little bit of that flu going around. I had a touch of it, stuff. He's been fighting it and stuff. And then, uh, wasn't feeling good last night, uh, after we put away groceries and stuff. In fact, he was drinking the Pepto. And so drinking a, you know, can of Sprite and stuff. He's starting to feel a little bit now, better now. He had not had hardly anything to eat today. You've had couple, we bought some of those little mini cupcakes, because, you know, like everybody else in the world, we're going to start really buckling down the first of the year with what we're eating, so we had some of them marked down, so we bought some, and then uh, we just had a cup of noodles, and that's been it, but we've been busy today, we kind of got a late start, and that's just normal for us, um, but um, it's getting going to get real cold tonight, it's going to get 29, and then it's going to be, for the rest of the whole for the next five nights, it's going to be down in the 20s. So we had to put up my painting stuff so it doesn't freeze and cover some plants and stuff so they don't, you know. Uh, so my begonias, I know it sounds funny, but see, I'm trying to see how long that I can keep those begonias going, hun. Yeah. So the pink and the white ones are still the ones that we bought when we first moved here. And they just, you know, and every six months I cut them all the way back. Real hard, and then they just sprout new, you know, and so, uh, you know, we covered that stuff up, Brad did, and Brad um, put away the painting stuff, 
I went down and took the most beautiful shower. <laughs> it felt so good. And Brad had gotten me. I told you guys he got me some smell good stuff. One of the things he got me is some of the, I know they used to call it oil of Olay. I guess now it's just Olay. Um, the bath and body work, the, or not bath and body work, but the body um, soap, um, shower gel, and the lotion. And that stuff is so nice. That is so nice. It's not greasy or anything. And But so I went down, took the nicest shower, and then came back. Um, let's see what. I, I made sugar-free, completely sugar-free, banana uh, nut bread, and I used Genpro protein powder, which is tasteless. Uh, so I'm making basically Brad's, um, his own um, protein bars. Uh, and um, uh, then uh, he put in the crock pot this morning um, some uh, chicken drumette, you know, and, um, uh, hot wings, basically, and meatballs. And with barbecue sauce, we've been cooking them all day. And we made egg salad. We had about, what, about a, about a dozen eggs boiled. And remember the one we're having a hell of a time, uh, peeling, and still had a heck of a time. Um, but, and I put salt in, in the water. Like I said, this time we didn't put vinegar because we didn't have any. Because um, Brad had used the rest of it to clean out our, our ice think We have to do that every so often. But um, we went ahead and did that. And, and he made, I cut everything up. He made the egg salad. And then we made the breakfast sandwiches for the next couple of weeks. You know, with the English muffins and, and, and the sausage and stuff. Uh, and then repacked them and froze them. We had an assembly line going. I tell them, those years I used to work fast food come in handy, because, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did a lot of cooking. Yep. I like to do that. Oh, and Brad made a uh, dip. He made spinach artic artichoke uh, dip, you know, just with the sour cream, and then it's just a package ad, and then one of the uh, onion soup mix. Because um, we're going to have, for dinner, we're going to have um, the meatballs and chicken wings and just chips and dip, and we're going to find a good movie on and, um, I don't know if we'll have a drink or not. Um, probably not. Your tummy's not good. Um, and, uh, I don't have anything cold anyway. Well, you do. I do? Yeah. What do I have? It's, um, it's a Seagram's. It's a can of Seagram's. Oh, okay. I might have and that later. Also, we have, uh, we have the Kamara up there, too. Well, I wanted, like, something that was, like, kind of, like, pina colada, you know, like the... Oh. the Glass bottles of the Seagram. Yeah. But um, it's no big deal. Oh, we've got some of those up there. I know, too. but we don't have any cold. Okay. Yeah. And that stuff, i got to have cold. But, you know, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Um, yeah. Then I wanted to show you guys. I did finish the show. So. So, finished. And I did have, well, I have this side tacked. Because I made, like, sleeves. So I put it on, and um, I can put my arm through it. I can show you guys. Kind of the other side came. I tacked. I'm going to have to re-tack. But anyway, I'm wearing the wrong shirt for it. But anyway, so then you just put your your arm through it, and you've got like a shrug. It's real nice if you're wearing. Uh, if you don't like your arms really be shown, and you're wearing like a tank top, except for like summertime, this is very very lightweight. So, anyway, this turned out well. I'm happy with it. I decided to not fringe it. But, yeah. So, yeah, turned out nice. And then I've been working on some cross-stitch. Um, my friend Rebecca sent me sent me this cross-stitch kit with that cross-stitch stuff that she sent. And I've been, been doing it. And been enjoying it. Um... And, but I gotta start some luminating because I'm about to go a little crazy here. I always have something going. Oh, and um, Tuesday the hats are going out. Um, and Brad taking some stuff for stories like the Christmas tree. My kitchen aid, I just don't have room to use it here in the RV. I'll put that in storage. I'm gonna put the extra um, printer in storage because we did get a new one that Canon. Uh, which works fine and stuff. Um, uh, 
So we're going to put the other one in storage for now. You know, just kind of make a little more room in here. And, um... Well, the... Buying the, um... Buying that new... new printer... Yeah. Well, it cost us about the same if we would have just bought cartridges. That's why we did it. Because it was on special there at, um... Amazon, um, you know, could we decide to go ahead and become Prime members? Um, and, you know, if I've learned, like last night, if you click that you're on a Prime member, you get some special deals that I didn't realize. That's how I got those plastic hoops so cheap, bud. Oh, okay. Um, but, because um, I went to Walmart, I needed to get a new hoop because all I had left for hoops was just these two wooden ones. I had a smaller one. Which I think I still have it in here. I went to go use it the other night. And, um, I'll show you guys that too. But, um, the bracket had all come undone. So I re-glued that, right? Let it sit overnight. Well, then I go to use it and this is so old and stuff, it broke. So anyway, went to Walmart. We can get a new one. They won three bucks. Three bucks for a plastic hoop. Because I like the plastic ones a little bit better for me. And I do like, I do like to put my stuff in a hoop when I'm working with it. That's just what I've always done. Um, you know, I don't have to, but I prefer it. It's just like I prefer to, I use, I use glue all the way around my, um, fabric before I start. And that way it doesn't come unraveled. Um, but they went three bucks, I knew... I had been looking online, and I, I knew I could get them cheaper, and I got a set of six different sizes of plastic ones, free shipping, eight ninety nine. Can't beat that. That's good. Yeah, through Amazon Prime. So, um, you do, oh, I was going to show you guys. One thing I do is, um, was back a long time ago when I used to do kits, and I used to not do kits because I hated how the... The thread came just kind of balled up, not on a card or anything like they do now. But what I do as I use this stuff here, let me. As I use this, the certain colors, I will go ahead and wind up the excess so I know I've already used those colors, like this and this and this. I cut a split here in the top. And then I just wind it, and that way it's out of the way, and it stays, so it's not being all tangled up and stuff. So, I just wanted, and then when I'm not using this, I take all of these and just gently wind them around this, so when I get them out of the package, they're not all tangled up like crazy. So, but yeah, been working on that. Um, next month, like I said, Tuesday, Sorry. it's okay, all the hats, scarves, and, and, there's, and stuff, I think... Um, there may be a shawl in this one, or no, the next one. Um, be going out Tuesday to, um, uh, Texas, uh, Dallas, Texas, to, um, I'd have to look it up. I've already said what it is, but I'd have to look it up again. Um, and then, uh, Michigan, the hat did go. Uh, Linda's daughter took them to her work, um, and, uh, that was through... Human Arc, they're in Lansing, Michigan, and they donate to four separate places from there. So that that all uh, is good. And then after we uh, Brad mails these hats off Tuesday next month, Brad, I let Brad pick the state. It will be Wyoming. So that will be where we'll be donating to. So um, we'll have to do some research on places there. We know a few places not do, but we don't, you know, so there's plenty, so, you know, uh, especially it's real cold there now. Real cold. So, um, it's been a good year. You know, we've had our ups and downs like everybody else. Um, overall, I think it's been a good year, but I got uh, some employment that he's much happier with. Um, uh, We've learned how to, to live and make the most out of um, living in a tiny space. We've learned a lot more patience with each other and the animals and even ourselves. Um, we're very eager to, to start the next steps of, of, of hopefully 
we have to decide what to do step by step of getting into some housing, um, or, you know, buying a home or whatever. Um, you know, I still, I love living in Florida. I have no desire to go back to Wyoming ever. Um, I love even, even, I mean, we're complaining now because it's cold, because it was only in the 40s today. Real feel was 50. Please. You know, we you get quickly very used to not the frigid temperatures. Yeah. Can you give the duck more water? Or uh, food, I mean? Oh, yeah. I um, the the there's enough left in there for one time. Okay. We'll get that tomorrow. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I've made a, a lot of really wonderful, wonderful friends. Or if we were already friends, we've deepened that connection. Um, I really like my friends and stuff. Really love them. Uh, you know, we've made some connections with some family members. Mm -hmm. Some that we were like, they just, you know, we're just too different. It's never gonna, you know. Um, and uh, but overall, I'm I'm happy with the direction our life is going. I mean. Um, we both want to work on improving our health and um, getting into a house, uh, possibly thinking about getting a second vehicle so I would be able to go <coughs> run errands. I'd be able to run errands and go places and have a little bit of freedom, and that would be nice. So, um, but I think it, it'll all be good. Um, you know, what about you? Um, actually, I agree with everything you said. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I would like to add, which is way, way off the subject, it is New Year's Eve. Um, a lot of people will go out and imbibe, over imbibe. And uh, um, I just want to beg and plead everybody to make sure you have a safe way home. Yeah. You know, don't hesitate. You know, if, if, you, if, if you're start feeling a little tipsy, Mm -hmm. Turn over your keys to somebody mm -hmm. who has not been drinking. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, I've lost way, way mm -hmm. too many friends to drinking yeah. and driving. I don't want to lose. You know, I know a lot of the bigger places have free taxi cabs on tonight. Um, mm -hmm. If not, like Brad said, turn your keys over even before you're 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 so drunk that mm -hmm. you can't make sense because then you think you're invincible. You yeah. you you know. If you're at a private party, maybe you can just stay there and 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 mm -hmm. sleep overnight and stuff. But it's not worth ruining. It's the New Year's. Everybody wants to celebrate, but it's not ruining worth ruining your life or somebody else's. You know. So, um, yeah. like I said, we're just gonna stay here. We're gonna eat, um, and we're gonna find a good movie to watch, and we're just gonna enjoy. You know, having made it through a year, this year was much better than yep. the year previous. And I think it'll just keep getting a lot easier. It takes a while when you move to a new place. We moved here, we didn't know anybody. It's not like we moved here and we had, had a friend already here or we had family. family or something. And it takes quite a while, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And, you know, it shows you who really gives a shit about you and who doesn't, you know. And uh, it's been, been an eye-opening experience, and we've learned a lot. And, you know, I'm grateful for it because, you know, I'm not one to really sugarcoat stuff. I'm, and I've learned to not, not just say what's on my mind as much as I used to. But, uh, you know, I'm not. People know, for one thing, they'll say, well, you're honest. <laughs> it's like, yeah, <laughs> you're sometimes too honest. Yeah, you, know? you speak your mind. But, yeah. Um, Sometimes. Yeah. I, I'm getting better, though, about yeah. not speaking my mind. As, as, yep. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anybody. So. Yeah. But um, I want to keep getting better with my artwork and um, producing some decent, decent, I hope to keep getting better and better and better. And, uh, you know, like I said, we want to work towards some goals of, of uh, getting a second vehicle, uh, which would be really nice. Um. And, you know, sometimes I just feel so trapped. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'd even just like to go for a drive with, take Charlie and go for a drive and, and or something. And, uh, you know, or go into, into town. Maybe I need something from 
the store. Maybe one just go get the mail or something. Mm -hmm. You know. Or there might be something once in a while. Maybe Brad needs something at his work. And he's like, you know, hey, can you can you bring this up to me? I forgot it. Or, you know. So, we'll see. We'll see what, what mm -hmm. happens. But um, I hope everybody has a wonderful, happy new year. Whether you're doing anything or not doing anything. Mm -hmm. You know. And then tomorrow, we Brad's already taking the tree down halfway outside um and uh tomorrow he'll finish doing that we're gonna get some stuff ready to go in stories like i talked about and um i wanted i bought some spray shampoo carpet shampoo stuff that you know you're supposed to kind of scrub your carpet with and let it dry and then vacuum it but it's too cold right now i'm gonna have to wait until it warms up a little bit so right yep. and brad might go fishing tomorrow for a bit yeah, you'll have to check and see when the high tide is. Yeah, you'll have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably need to get some bait. Well, we got that stuff in the freezer. Oh, you didn't freeze it, throw it away? Nope, okay. not yet. Well, anyway, we're going to get off here. And I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I will talk to you in 2018. I am probably not making a video tomorrow. I'm not sure, so don't hold me to it. I don't know if I will or not. Because it is New Year's Day. And cause originally, Brad was supposed to have to work tomorrow. But then the schedule got changed, so he's out tomorrow. So what we're doing, I'll, I know I'm going to say goodbye, but we're just going to, he's got some chicken breast marinating in the fridge, all kinds of wonderful herbs, spices, whatever. And uh, he's going to grill that outside. I wanted to do like, you know, maybe some baked potatoes or something. And um, we're just going to have a nice, nice, that's going to be our New Year's mm -hmm. dinner, yep. you know. So anyway. We'll talk to you guys later and say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.